Hi. Um, I was watching the Bucket List Homesteader the other day, and she made a chocolate cherry jam. Um, that kind of inspired me to want to make my own. It looked delicious, except for I'm going to tweak the recipe a little bit. Um, she used a, a kind of pectin or whatever that I don't have. I only have pectin, and um, I'm going to add strawberries to it. Strawberries from our garden, and cherries, and chocolate. And um, we are going to see if it makes a delicious jam. Now, um, I was watching another um, YouTuber, uh, Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen, and um, she has a ball book, and she used the ball recipe. Um, so this is in the ball book. I, I don't have that ball book. I have this old one that my grandmother, um, that I got from my grandmother when she passed. And I have a Kerr book of two, uh, look at that, 10 cents. <laughs> um, but the recipe is not in this or these books. So um, I did watch her video, the Jenny's um, Scratch Made Kitchen. Uh, I watched her video and I kind of jotted down the ingredients. Um but like I said, I am going to be tweaking it a little bit. I am going to use the six cups of berries, not just cherries. I'm going to use berries. <clears throat> and I don't want as much sugar. So it calls for six cups of sugar. And I'm only going to use four, I think. And uh, one fourth of a cup of lemon juice and um, two-thirds cup cocoa and I'm also going to add um, some almond extract um, half a teaspoon of almond extract Let's see if I forgot anything got the six cups of berries oh and um, six tablespoons of pectin um, I'm just using this classic real fruit um, pectin by ball. And I'm using this um, for lemon juice, one fourth cup lemon juice. It says six cups of sugar, but I am only going to use four. And two-thirds cup unsweetened cocoa powder. And I just have the um, cheap cocoa powder. All right. And then these are my cherries pitted. I pitted them and my strawberries. And to get the six cups, um, I did put a can of, I drain, a drained can of um, the sweetened cherries. So, okay, let's get started. All right, I'm having a hard time getting the whole countertop in with my new tripod. And hopefully you can hear me well with um, my, I've got a new mic, so hopefully you can hear me well with that. Um, supposedly with the new lids, you don't have to heat them up, but i am still got mine heating up. And then I have my um, hot bath pot deep pot over here um it has already been to a boil i just have it on low for right now and um let's see here so first off um it says to chop the berries i don't like big chunks of course that's probably what makes it taste like chocolate covered berries but i'm going to um See if I can just mash them a little bit with my stick. Oh, it's kind of making a mess. And of course, I wore white today. Give it a mash. My stick blender. Um, 
don't know. I'm not gonna. She used some type of. Oh, I know what I have that I could use to chop it. Eh, so this is actually doing pretty good. This is. I'm gonna chop in them a little bit. It's where they're not completely smooth, but. Okay, I'm going to do this for a few minutes. Oh, and I also have my jars heating up in the oven. Um, I stick them in a pan and um, put them in and then preheat the oven so they come up to temperature with the oven. Okay, I did that for a couple minutes and it still has um, some chunks in it, but they're not too big, I don't think. They look fairly chopped. That might be a big one right there. I think it looks all right. All right, next I'm going to get this on. And add my six tablespoons of pectin. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to keep that on standby. I also have a little saucer plate in the freezer um, so I can test the jam when I am thinking I'm closer to it. Let's see. Do I want to use this? Yes. I'm going to mix this up and get this heating up. And then... Um, in a separate bowl, you want to mix your sugar with your cocoa powder, or your cocoa powder with your sugar, but like I said, the recipe calls for six cups of um, sugar. I'm only using four, so here's two. Oh, I measured it out last night. Really? to the thing. Because oh, I didn't have, I ran out of sugar, so Daryl had to, when he was on his way home, he come swung by the store for me. So there's two cups. And here's two cups. So four cups of sugar. And two thirds cup of cocoa powder. I only have a one third cup, so I'm going to use two of those. One. There's two. Seems like a lot of cocoa powder, but mm. um, it's the unsweetened. And then I'm going to give this a little whisk. My mother is calling. Sorry, Mom. Making a video. Can't talk right now. <laughs> I wonder if my mom even knows that I'm making YouTube videos. I'll have to tell her. See if she'll watch them. <laughs> All right. That seems mixed up. Oh, I should probably add in my lemon juice. So one fourth of a cup of lemon juice. All right, one fourth of a cup. So let's. See here. 
one fourth of a cup. A little splash extra because I didn't have it on the countertop. All right. And I think towards the end, I will add the almond extract, or should I add it now? Maybe I'll add it now. I am using one half of a teaspoon of almond extract. All right, mm, it smells good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up. I'm gonna start adding in the sugar and the cocoa powder. Hope I don't spill it, make a mess everywhere. Let's use this one. Because my bowl is wider than my pot. All right. Put all that in there. Start mixing this in. And I'm going to get bring it up to a rolling boil. This smells divine. Um, also, I am not going to put the recipe down below because it's not mine. Um, the other gal that I was watching, she um, did use the ball um, recipe, but she did not put it down below either because, like she said, it's not her recipe. So... I mean, I guess it is my recipe since I'm tweaking it a little bit, but um, I don't know. I'm just starting YouTube, and I don't want to uh, step on anybody's toes. Um, again, with this, you could, if you didn't want the foaming, you could put some butter in it to get it um, to not foam up. It might actually be kind of good with... Um, with the chocolate and cherries. Hold on. So I am going to put some butter in um, to help with the foaming and maybe a little bit of the flavor. It is, um, I've been stirring for about two minutes and it's not up to a rolling boil yet. Of course, I only have it on medium heat, but I'm kind of worried about turning it up too high. I don't want to burn it. So I will just keep stirring this um, and then I'll bring you back in when it's at a rolling boil. Okay, it's just coming to a rolling boil. So when I stir it, it still boils. So I'm going to cook it. Um, now boil it for another minute. I think maybe two since I'm using less sugar. I think I'm going to boil it for a couple more minutes. Turning down the heat a little bit because I don't want it to overflow. My jars, I turned off the oven now because um, my jars are hot. My water is hot. Um, oh, yeah, I need to get my handy dandy jar tongs out. And I have my vinegar for wiping the rims. And my paper towel for that also. Alexa, set a jam timer for two minutes. Okay, my jam timer is done. Alexa, dismiss jam timer.
All right, so now I want to see if, I was trying to scrape the sides there with that spatula. I'm gonna turn this down for a second while I go over here and grab my plate out of the freezer. And I'm going to get a little bit of the jam. And it's coagulating pretty well once it hits it. Maybe a minute longer. I wonder if I should add one more. Well, it's kind of, oh no. Oh my. Mm. That's good. <laughs> I think it's pretty good um, as far as that goes. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to start jarring it up. Got it all the way turned down. Still kind of hot, though. Hmm. But let's get this going. Let me get my jars out. Okay. So I'm going to my funnel in. I'm using different size jars here. So you only have to have a quarter inch head space in your jars for jam. Ooh, it is really boiling, so I'm turning that off. It is boiling inside of that jar. Ooh. Crazy. All right. I've got parchment paper down, so when I make a mess, oh my goodness, it is so hot, it is boiling in there. Yowza. Oops, I just got it on the rim, gosh darn it. Okay, so. Um, this one. I think I need to add a little bit of, a little bit more, because it's, Oh my goodness, I am making a mess though because it's bubbling up and over. Too hot. Quarter inch head space, huh? The jam. I don't have a measuring um, utensil for quarter inch head space, but. All right, so I need to wipe my rims, which this stuff is hot. I'm afraid to do it. <laughs> I am using vinegar. I don't know if you can see With my new tripod. It kind of takes up more of the counter top, so I only have a little section for you to see. All right. I think that's cleaned off enough, I hope. I can't, I usually use my fingertip to kind of rim the top and see, but I'm afraid to because it's so hot. I hate getting burned. Getting burned sucks. All right, so I'll get my handy dandy little. Here. Ooh, water in between them. Okay, put that on. Put that on. This on. Fingertip tight. I'm not going to be able to touch those jars anyway. Ooh, hot. Oh my goodness, that's hot. All right, I'm going to do this for a few more. Oh, I'm going to put this in. Um, just don't feel like those are tight enough, though. Let's see here. I'll try to hold it with this one. Okay, there we go. Fingertip tight. Put it in the water. Fingertip tight. Put it in the water. Fingertip tight. 
put it in the water. All right, I'm going to do this with the rest of my jam and I will be back towards the end here. Okay, last ones, fingertip tight, hot, um, and then into the water. They go. And turn up the heat. Oops. All right. So these will hot bath uh, for 10 minutes, unless you're higher in elevation like I am. So 15 minutes. So I'm going to clean up my mess and hot bath those for 15 minutes. Alexa. Set a jam timer for 15 minutes. All right, and then I will get back to you and show you the finished product when I am done. Okay, my jam timer is done. Alexa, dismiss the jam timer. So I'm going to turn off my hot, take the lid off. Alexa, power off. And then I'm going to take carefully take out the jars and place them on the cooling rack that I have a towel on because my cooling rack is metal. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you could see that. Uh, so I put a towel down and. Let them cool so they can seal. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six of the eight ounce jars, and one, two, three of the four ounce jars. Oops, one just sealed. So it will fill eight eight ounce jars and one four ounce jar okay that's it so if you like chocolate and berries and chocolate covered berries you might want to try um, some chocolate berry jam you can put it on ice cream you can put it on french toast you can put it on pancakes I'm sure there's all kinds of things you could put it on you could probably dip your fruit into it <laughs> um so if you like it, I hope you give it a try and let me know how it goes. Bye.